Here in the western Massachusetts town of Ludlow, Tom Foy had it all. Wife, three daughters, and after 22 years on the local force, a good shot at becoming chief of police. Instead, he spent eight months behind bars here at the Hampshire County Jail. He's still in custody, but able to live at home, monitored by an electronic ankle cuff. We met in the jail conference room. Did you ever imagine you would come in here not, as an inmate? Not in a million years. Not in a million years. Foy lived a life heavy on achievement, selected for leadership training at the FBI Academy. In his off hours, he coached his kids, competed in triathlons. So how does a guy like this end up in jail? It started with a single Oxycontin, prescribed to ease the pain after shoulder surgery. I just remember feeling this whoosh. You know, all my pain was gone. I felt great, and, and it hit me. You know, this little spark went off, and the statement in my mind was, wow, I can see how somebody can get hooked on this stuff. But not you. You didn't think oh, you were me. on no, the road no to way. addiction. No way. At, at that particular point, no. But soon he needed surgery on his other shoulder and then his hip. Each time he received more opiate painkillers, he quit cold turkey, suffered through a painful withdrawal, and went back to work. But one day, feeling pain, he took a leftover pill. And then another one, and then another one, and then it would be, you know, a few weeks later, and I would blink and I would go, Wow, where, where am I? What's going on? I've been taking these things every day now for, for, for a few weeks. And did you realize you were taking it for more than just physical pain? Yeah, I think so. I think so. You wanted the pills. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I wanted that feeling that it created. And when Lieutenant Foy ran out of drugs, he had easy access to more. The evidence room here at the Ludlow Police Station. Each day he stole, he told himself the same thing. This time would be the last. A Ludlow police lieutenant was arrested inside his own department today. Lieutenant Thomas Foy faces drug charges. His arrest ended his police career, but Foy says it also saved his life. I remember saying to myself, my God, this is finally over. This is finally over. It's going to come to an end now, you know, because as I had tried, I had struggled. I could not beat this on my own. This disease wants you dead. Even as he serves his time, Foy is increasingly in demand as a speaker. At this forum at Waltham, he is sharing his story with law enforcement and medical professionals. His goal is to let others know that if he can become an addict simply by taking prescribed painkillers, so can anyone else. If you had to do it over again and you had the surgery, would you reject the opiate painkiller? Without a doubt, without a doubt. The pain that I experienced physically through surgery is nothing compared to what I've been through. Nothing at all. Foy will be released on parole later this month. He can't go back to work as a police officer, but he does hope in some way to help others. Stephanie Lydon, WGBH News.